Hey guys, so a lot of you have asked me about my skincare routine, so no, I'm just kidding. This is a video about gear. I do get questions about camera gear, lenses, everything I'm using, so. So to start off, I'm just gonna show off that I got this new wide angle lens. It's a Lumix Leica 8x18, so yeah, it's really wide. I have a pretty small place, and I'm able to fit almost everything in the shot and it's a really good sort of walk and talk lens. I know a lot of other uh, vloggers or big YouTube people way bigger than I am that use this type of lens, especially as a run and gun. So I'm very happy to have it. I'll just show you what things look like with the other lens that I use for a lot of other shots. Hey guys, sorry I haven't posted in a while. No, this is the uh, 12 by 60. This lens I've used for the last two years in Ross Kitchen, so it still looks good, but as you might be able to see, it's not nearly as wide, like you definitely don't fit everything in the shot that you might want. So it, uh, it's really good for certain stuff, but I definitely wanted a really good sort of walk and talk type lens, so. All right, so I switched to the Hero 8 actually. I'm gonna do the rest of the vlog in this one just a little easier. Um, if you're interested in any of my gear, please do click the link below. Um, you can buy via Amazon. It's the cheapest prices I've found. I do get a small commission on any product that's purchased through that link but the price is the exact same for you. So if you wanna help me out, I would appreciate it if you're interested in the same gear. So here is, yeah, on the Hero 8, which I really love. I've lost two sevens this year, derp. But let's get into the first thing. So the camera I was just shooting on, this is the same one you've seen for the last couple of years. So that's the 12 by 60 lens I was talking about. This is the GH5. Uh, new things on it compared to last time. This is the Gorillapod. I've seen a bunch of other vloggers use this. It does seem very convenient to use as kind of a selfie stick. It's quite light. Uh, you can bend these in any way, shape, or form and attach it to trees and whatever you want to do. And the other new thing is this microphone here. Now this one I've been using normally this Rode. It's an NTG1 and this is an attachment that fits on top of the camera. So it's nice, it's great sound, but when you're running around in the city or trying to pack it up lightly and easily, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty chunky compared to the other one. So I'll use this on the yard for a lot of the audio, but for now, for running guns, I'm pretty stoked on this Rode one. Or not Rode, my bad, this is Sure. This one is a Rode, this is an old Rode. Um, video mic, which I like okay, but honestly, I don't find it's that good. So that's why I have switched to Sure. Link on there below. So yeah, with certain running gun stuff, you just want to make it easy on yourself. You want to be able to pack and unpack easily. You don't want to look like you're carrying too much. I mean, I guess that doesn't really matter, but it's just for ease of use and traveling. So this GoPro in my hand and uh, this setup here is going to be my go-to run and gun. So this does everything I mentioned before. You can do internal time lapses. It has stabilization on the lenses as well as in camera. It's the best camera I've had. I love it. This is my plan B. If things go sour or I'm setting up a second shot, I'll set up this Lumix GH3. I've had this since 2013. A lot of the old seasons of Ross Kitchen that you've seen that were published in like 2015, 14, would have, all the good stuff is on this camera and it's it's really nice. I haven't gotten rid of it. I mean, I could upgrade, but it still does everything I wanna do. It's excellent. So highly recommend the GH3 series. So this is that wide angle again I was telling you about. It's the uh, eight by 18. And you can see this one is a 12 by 60. So I thought 12, Eight. That's not that much different, but when I started using this, uh, it really does make a difference. So other lenses I have, I uh, might leave one of these at home, but this is just a nice Olympus um, 45 mil. It's very fast. It's great. Um, this one is a relatively cheaper lens too. I think they're only a couple hundred bucks, but it's a Lumix and it is a 25 millimeter. So this will give you that kind of portrait lens. Uh, the nifty 50 as photographers call it so for me because i'm using micro four thirds 
you double each of the uh, sizes of the lenses and that gives you your real sort of focal range. I'm no expert, can you tell? I'll just kind of wing it. The other new thing I got is this battery grip. So this will connect on the bottom of the camera. And obviously it gives you a bit better battery life. You can fit two batteries in there, double your time and a little more comfortable to hold, although it is a little bulkier and heavier. So one thing to consider. And this is an old lens I've had for a long time, probably 10 years, 14 by 140. It just gives me a little more range. It's still stabilized. It's kind of heavy, but you know, it's good to have in the kit. Next up, this is the same drone I've had for a while. This is the, come on brain, work with me, Mavic Air. So shout out to my friend Brody. He shot some drone stuff for me on one of these a couple years ago and it was great. And I got it used, I think I got it used for 700 bucks. If you're looking for a drone, especially in Canada or maybe the States too, now's the time because they just put these crushingly terrible drone laws in effect where you need to get a license and um, fill out paperwork every time you want to shoot. It's very difficult to shoot, but you go to countries like Jamaica or when I'm in Indonesia, you don't need anything. It's just like, oh, you can't do it over a temple within 100 meters, something like that. Look up your rules, but I'm sure people are getting rid of them left and right because they bought them and they can't use the damn thing. So, yeah, it's very small. It packs up really light. I do have two extra batteries for it. Um, it's controlled through this controller, and then your iPhone just goes in the bottom of it. Kind of clips in like so. So, yeah. yeah. It's uh, useful to have. I did buy some polarizing lenses on Amazon to experiment with, so that's good. Um, I did end up getting a new iPhone, not because I even needed a phone. I honestly, I barely used the phone for much, but the camera I heard was insane and the portrait mode and there's sort of a live view photo thing I wanted to try. So it was more thinking of it as buying a camera especially a great run and gun. So if I have the phone and the GoPro and one dies, which often happens to me, uh, that'll be great to have. I got this little mini tripod from Newer. I have some Newer tripod I left in Jamaica too. So, you know, it's nice to have the same piece that fits into the camera for all your gear. It just makes switching in and out easier and you don't lose these little things because that obviously sucks. Yeah, no good. I got this newer monitor. Um, I haven't even turned it on yet, so maybe it was unwise, but when you are shooting, uh, especially with manual focus or when I shoot the slow-mo stuff, it's really hard to get the focus. It has to be manual and the focus peaking on the camera doesn't always show that. So anything to give you a little bit of a better view uh, should help out with that. Um, got a little selfie stick, which I sometimes use with the phone. Uh, this is a photo pro. I just love how this camera tripod just it twists to extend. So it's just so much easier, I find. Yeah, it packs up light. This is relatively cheap on Amazon too. So yeah, hopefully I have that in the store. This is my favorite one. I've had that for years. I have a small rig cage thing. So this goes around the camera. It just allows you to stick on some other knickknacks, whether it's a microphone or a monitor, or if you wanna shoot skateboarding with something moving, you need a good handle. So to be honest, I don't really use it that much. I might end up using it on this trip, I might not, but that's just how things go. Ah, uh, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, the computer. This is the same computer I've had for a couple years now. Um, you always wanna have a backup, I've talked about it before, two is one, one is none, that's how it is. So always have a backup. Um, I'm probably gonna go buy even maybe one more because this is the last season of Ross Kitchen on here and I wanna have one at home should things go awry. But um, yeah, the link for this MacBook is on there too. I forget even what it is, but it's been great. This guy's crazy, look, he's biking in the snow. Yes, it's an insane day. It's real cold. It's a blizzard here in Toronto, Canada, and I have very good timing for going away and my friends hate me right now. Uh, what else do I have? This is all the GoPro kit. So like I said, I'm an idiot and I've lost two this year. So I have one of these. 
It's actually for the seven, it doesn't even fit, but it will do the trick. I do have a little stringy dingy thingy <laughs> attached permanently to the GoPro now, and I'm not gonna use it without a backup mount. Uh, I'll show you on the surfboard in a minute. Um, just some extra little toys for shooting in the water. If you, This is a mouth mount, obviously. I got a couple drives there. This is a floaty thing, so if I got it on the wrist, it floats. Rain-X, you wanna use that on the glass, otherwise all your shots can be ruined by drops. Uh, just, you know, you want a bunch of extra batteries always. Um, you can buy these cheaper batteries on Amazon. They're not as good, but you know, you get a whole bunch of them and you're pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, what else do I got? Fun toys. Oh, this is, I always try to improve the yard a bit when I'm in Jamaica, just to try to get things nicer for guests because it's getting busier and busier. So Moko asked for a saw, power saw. So hopefully this isn't heavy and I don't get charged a shitload for bringing it to the country. But, and I just realized it didn't come with a damn battery. So I got to go buy one of those, but this is, uh, this thing looks sick. That'll help speed things up, nice things up on the yard. Um, got a gift for Rat Rat. I got him um, a snorkel last time and he loves it. So these are gonna be probably way too big even though it's the extra small, but I'm sure he'll love that. Hopefully he'll come surfing with me one day. I got a bunch of the new Ross kitchen gear. So Moko's seen the photos and stuff that I send to the girls, but he hasn't seen, he doesn't have all the shirts in real life, so bring a bunch of that stuff for him. And then for the business, it's Shauna and Chanel that help a lot with the uh, customers and visitors. And uh, big up to Aaron in Florida who helps coordinate with them. So I bought phones in Jamaica before for them, new ones. I've brought used phones. They always seem to get destroyed. So I'm really hoping that these ones, if uh, a little more quality, at least a brand that's good, um, this will help them do the business. So Sean, Chanel, and Koopy because they're on the yard and helping. Uh, bring a snorkel and stuff for myself. I wanna do some free diving when I'm there and maybe link up with some people. Maybe the same crew I went fishing with last time. That was great. Uh, a couple boards. I'm going to be hanging out at my friend Peter's place. So a big up long border cafe and grill. This is my favorite. I don't know why I'm talking about this because it's more about camera, but it's a 511 Gamma Slater designs. Uh, yeah. And then I have my beater board underneath. Free pig. Very beat up. I got it in Indonesia a few years ago. Um, but it'll do the trick. And then I finally did invest in a good board bag from Surf Ontario. So Surf Ontario, big up. Thanks for that. Great crew over there. If you're in Toronto area or Ontario, they are, yeah, definitely best selection around. So I love those guys. Uh, what else do we have? North Face travel pack. Um, my second camera will go in there. That's most of it, I think. Oh, some essentials, like super essential stuff. So, uh, an Algene. I love this one because all the other ones that twist off, this you can do with one hand when you're driving or whatever, and it does have a lock. So this is the one that I spill the least with. Watch me almost spill it over everything. Um, this, my friend Sean got me onto these. When you're traveling or doing any kind of physical activity, if you're, uh, approaching mid-age like I am middle age you get uh, worn out hips and you roll out your hips and it solves all my back problems so big up Sean for that this one same thing good for the plane or on long drives so I pretty much travel with these all the time uh, the Leatherman wave you have seen Moko cut up so many spliffs with this for the last 10 years I've had this for ages and it is the best so Leatherman please sponsor us uh, I got a Kindle obviously you read some books when you're chilling I left a hammock down there, so that's all good. Um, and then this out, out XE, I did a little ad for them before and they gave me this for free. So it's awesome charger. It can charge two devices and it's quite big and it does have a light on it and it does have a solar charger on it. So yeah, I like that. Travel with that a whole bunch. Um, yeah, that is it for the most part. Oh wait skateboard hopefully i'll be skating at 
the gully skate park again so yeah anyhow if you do like the gear please do click the link below like i said i get a small commission and the price for you is the same so i would really appreciate it and yeah i'll be back in jamaica shooting stuff real soon i talked to moko yesterday he's stoked he says he has all kinds of ideas and a bunch of places that he wants to visit that looked awesome so anyway i'll be leaving this stuff real soon don't mind my dirty super filthy old windows but i'm getting out of here see you later canada all right bless up